Captain. Poker lands a terrific straight right uppercut to Murphy's jaw. A straight left to Murphy's jaw. A straight left to Murphy's head. One, two, three, blasting right to left to Murphy's head. Murphy is again in the ropes. Poker's boarding in, blasting him with rights and lefts. And Murphy is down. Boy, Count get seven. Eight. Nine. And there's the bell ending the round and robbing Coker of a sure knockout. What do you mean, robbing Coker of a knockout? Why, this has been Red's fight from the first round and still his fight. Red can whip this guy any day in the week. Yeah, and two or three times on Sunday. Yeah, but he ain't so good on Friday night. He won't come up for the next round. Oh, he won't, huh? How much you want to bet? Well, How much do you want? Now, here, 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 Skipper, listen. Listen to this. That boy's in bad shape. He looks tired, very tired. Now the referee's over in Murphy's corner. He's looking him over. Maybe he's going to stop the fight. Well, we'll know in just a minute. Oh, that test to the spalpeen. What are you doing, Murphy? Oh, oh. What are you doing? Putting an Irish curse on Crocker? And why not? No, Murphy insists he's all right. There's the 10-second whistle. The handlers are clearing the ring. And there's the bell. Crocker comes out fast to meet Murphy. Murphy's keeping him well covered. Crocker shoots the right to Murphy's head that misses. Tries a left to the body, but Murphy's covered. Shoot your left hand, Red. Your left. Why don't he do what I taught him, Bob? Crocker uh, standing erect. Murphy's in a deep crouch. Crocker shooting at Murphy, trying to land home with that knockout punch. Use your left hand, Red. Your left hand. Shh. Murphy unleashed a terrific straight left to Crocker's midsection that sent Crocker staggering back to the ropes. Oh, what I tell you, what I tell you. Murphy throws Crocker into his own corner. Lands a left to Crocker's jaw that spins Crocker's head. A smashing left uppercut that lands flush to Crocker's jaw. Count of six, weaves along the ropes, trying to get away from Murphy. Murphy's right on top of him. Come on, Red, that left hand, boy, shoot that left hand. Oh, I should be in his corner. He can't fight without me there. Murphy measures his man. He's tapping him lightly with the left. Hit him, Red, hit him. Can I have another cup of coffee, Dave? No, 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 no. Lightning jabs to Croker's head. Croker covers, warding off that rain a little jabs to the head. Murphy uncorks the whistling left to Croker's body. Croker rolls down and under the ropes and out onto the apron. The referee's looking Coker over. I think he's going to stop the fight. It'll be a technical knockout for Murphy. Count yourself, don't talk when count. Ladies and gentlemen, here's one for the book. Murphy refuses to fight Coker. Murphy refuses to strike a helpless man and listen to that crowd cheering Murphy. Murphy brushes Coker's gloves aside like nothing was there. And there's the bell ending the fight. The referee raises Murphy's hand. Murphy wins the decision. He wins the decision. Why, with one little tap, he could have won it by a knockout. Yes, and by not giving that one little tap to a helpless man, he's won more honor than anything. Ah, oh, boy. Here, Skipper, what kind of talk is that? Oh, I, I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean it. I just wasn't thinking. Yeah, but look, take it the other way around. Suppose it had been red. Do you think Croker would have let up on him? Not for a minute. Why, he'd have chopped him down like a flash. That's why we need men like your brother. To make up for men like Croker. There he is. That's him. Stepper. That's him. Stepper. That's the boy. That's the boy that took Keep the radio. Keep your shirt on, Morris. We'll hear his story first. Why, what's the trouble? Your boy, Skipper, took a radio from my table in front of my store. Well, how did you know? How do I know? I saw you take it. He asked me, how do I know he took it? Skipper, what's this all about? Well, I just had to have a radio right away, and Mr. Morris was busy, and there was a lot of customers, so I... Well, I... Well, I just took it. Skipper, I'm so ashamed for you. Come on, Skipper. Where's the radio? Look, Mr. Morris, can I keep the radio? I mean, if I work and get money and I pay for it? No. Quit stalling, Skipper. Where's the radio? Oh, I'll go get it for you. Oh, no, no, none of that. We'll go get it. Skipper, I... It's all right, don't worry, Katie. We're just going to get the radio back. Look, uh, will you kind of let me explain it to him first? See, he doesn't know that I... Well, that I borrowed the radio, and I don't want him to think it caused me any trouble. All right? Go ahead. Thanks. Hello, Sammy. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Hey, how'd you like the fight? Wasn't Red great? Yeah, I'm gonna be a fighter like Red someday, when I grow up and get well. Sure you will. Say, 
Sammy, about this radio. Well, it, uh, it don't belong to me, see, and it's borrowed. Well, you know how folks are when you keep borrowed things too long, they get kind of sore. Well, couldn't I keep it just for tonight? It gets so awful lonesome in here when Sis is away working, and it's almost like having people come and sing and play for me. Ah, oh, Skipper, couldn't I keep it just a little longer? Here's your radio. If you want it, you take it. How long you been sick? Three years. In this room all the time? Yes. Alone? Except for my sister. Where is she? She works. Look at me. From here, it gives Boynes and Allen. And from here, it gives Shelly McCarthy. So you're gonna let me keep it a little while? Sure, keep it for good. It's yours. Gee, thanks. How would you like to have a big one that plays a record? Oh, that'd be great. Tomorrow you'll have it. Gee, you're swell. Thanks, mister. The next time, tell me first. Yes, sir. So long, Sammy. So long, Chippy. Well, it's not so hot, but it's about the best I can do. Oh, sure, I think it's grand. Well, I could meet him at the station with a brass band if I knew when he was coming in. And if I had a brass band. It's funny he didn't let us know when he'd get here. Hi, Mom. Oh, oh darling. Hi, oh, my boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy Red. What a fight. <laughs> Did you clean up in that last round? Why, well, just when everybody thought you were through, I... Bing, bing, boom. You laid that coke over the ropes like... Well, like a dish rag out to dry. Yeah, it was quite a fight, all right. <laughs> oh, let me look at you, darling. Oh, are you hurt? Nah, Mom, oh. boxing in the ring is different than a duck fight. They make you wear gloves. <laughs> red, Red, look at here. Your picture all over the sport page. The mercy killer, that means you for not slugging that guy bullegger when you had him out on his feet. Sure, that's all I've heard all day long from everybody. What a grand thing it was for you to do that. Look, Red, I got something else for you. This is for you. <laughs> Welcome home, champ. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine, Skipper, but I ain't the champ yet. Ah. Uh, Why didn't you let me know when to expect you? Then I could have had supper all ready for you. Well, I wasn't so sure myself, Mom. You see, I drove home with my new manager in his car. Your oh. what? My new manager, Bill Grogan. Bill, come on and meet the folks. Mom, this is Bill Grogan. He's going to handle things for me from now on. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Murphy. How are you, Mr. Grogan? And my brother, Skipper. How are you? All right. You got a great bet in this boy here, Mrs. Murphy. I'm going to send him right to the top. I hope so. Uh, Mr. Grogan, won't you sit down let me get you a cup of coffee? Well, I'm afraid we can. We got a lot of business to do tonight. Oh, sure, there's always time for a cup of coffee. Come on, it'll make you feel better. Hey, Rich. Who is this guy? He don't look so hot to me. You sure he's on the level? Why, sure, Skipper. He's one of the best fight managers in the game. I'm lucky to get him. Now, stop worrying. Oh, say, I got something here for you. The gloves I won with, they're yours. Oh, boy. Have I got a spot for these. Uh, I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> He's in his glory, though. As soon as you finish that, we'll get going, huh? Oh, but you've only just come. Sorry, Mom, but it's big business. We can't wait. You know, contracts to sign, reporters to interview, and pictures for the press, story for the morning edition. Bigger business than that to me, Mom. How is Ruth? Nothing to stop you from finding out for yourself, is there? That's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Good night. Good night, darling, and bless you. You've made your mother very proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Come on, Grogan. Good night, Miss Murphy. Good night, Mr. Grogan. Good night, Mom. What are you doing, son? Just fixing my collection. Come on, oh. open it out. 
Oh. Oh, it looks fine. Now, see, this is Red's. That's Dad's. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, Dad's is a lot bigger than Red's. Oh. Well. See, now, here's his badge, his billy, handcuffs, his service revolver. Gee, he must have been a great fella. He was. I wish I could remember a little bit about him. Oh, you were too young. Why, you were only a little bit of a toddler when he died. Oh, Mom. Don't say died just like nothing had happened. Well, Dad went out and battled, facing his enemy with his gun blazing, just like the hero that he was. Well, it's no wonder Red's a great fighter with a dad like that. Oh, of course, Red's a great guy, too, you know. Uh, fighting in the ring with gloves is different than fighting crooks with a gun like Dad did. Oh, um, Mom, won't it be swell when Red becomes the champion? Well, didn't Mr. Brogan say he was going to push him right to the top? I'm going to have a little talk with Red. Oh, he went over to Mouse Place with Mr. Brogan. Isn't it about time now you were getting ready for bed? Mom, I think I heard Porky talk about this Mr. Grogan. Oh. I'm going over and check up. Well, don't be long. I won't, Mom. Everybody in the fight racket? Sure. What kind of fellow is this Grogan? You know, the great big guy, the manager? Why? Hey, listen. He ain't gonna handle that brother of yours, is he? Well, he might. That's why I'm asking you. Oh, that's too bad. Grogan's poison to a good prospect. He's handled lots of men. And where are they now? Well, what's his angle? Gambling, gambling, that's his racket. Betting on a sure thing. That's funny. I had a hunch it was something like that. Yeah. And any time you fight for Grogan, you fight his way. Or you don't fight at all. Thanks, Porky. Champ. Is that what you told him? I haven't told him anything yet. I made the match after the Croker fight. The kid's next shot is a champ himself. Go on. Killer Krauss will tear him to pieces. Yeah, that's what they said about Croker. What happened? He hit Murphy with everything he had. When he was all through, the kid come on and knocked him silly. But Croker ain't Killer Krauss. Krauss is all washed up. He hasn't had a fight in a year. You can't lay off that long and hit the bottle without slipping. He's right for Murphy, and his managers know it. I had to promise him the gate, the concessions, and all the first to get the match. What does Murphy get beside the exercise? The title. The money will follow after that. Besides, money's no good for a fighter. They work better in an empty stomach. Mm-hmm. You're on the level about this, huh, Grogan? I hope you're right about Murphy. There's five grand that says I'm right. When the story breaks in the paper, I want you to spread that around for me on Murphy. Don't let the smart boys know it's my money. That's why I never get any odds. They figure the fight's fixed and they bet my way. I'll mention my name. I'm not betting at all, see? That way we'll get four or five to one on the champ. If you can get more, your cut's five percent. You'll get the odds. Okay, I'm leaving it to you. If he's right about Cross being washed up, you know, it's hard luck. We haven't got five grand to make a killing ourselves. Yeah, five grand's a lot of money. I could use any part of it. Hmm. What's funny? Just thinking how this money could be ours without any betting. If Murphy happened to lose that fight, 
No, when Grogan bets on the level, he don't play long shots. Murphy must be a cinch to win. He's a great kid, Grogan. He's got a good bet in you, Red. I'm gonna do big things for you. That's what his contract says. What about it? Yeah, well, you're no fight manager. You're just a crooked gambler. Look, Red, all this guy cares about is the betting angle. He'll frame you into one crooked fight right after another. And then if you don't fight his way, he'll keep you frozen under contract doing nothing until you starve into it. Yeah, and then the fight commissioner will hear about it and you'll be all through. Who's been talking to you? Take it easy, Red. Somebody's been handing the kid a line. Yeah, well, I got it straight. Get this straight. Your brother's gonna be the next champion. <laughs> Not while you're handling him. Read about it in the paper, son. I just signed him a fight killer cross. Huh? What? You're scared? Who, me? Yeah, but I never figured to get a shot like that inside of a year. That's why you got me. The final papers will be ready to sign tomorrow. What do you think of that now, Skipper? I don't guess you, didn't he? Yeah, I... Well, the only way I can figure it out is he's pulled so many phony deals, the only way left to fool people is to be honest. Gee. Gee, the champ. Hey, wait till Ma hears about this. <laughs> Give up on the big base horn. Come here, gal. See you later. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Go on, tell her, Red. Hello, Skipper. I got some great news for you, honey. It's going to put us right up in the big dough. Nothing to wait for after that. <coughs> well, isn't that what we've been waiting for? Oh, yes, I'm very happy about that, Red. <coughs> well, what's the matter? Don't you feel well? Oh, I'm so tired. You must have been sicker than I thought. Monk, come here. <laughs> What's the idea of working Ruth here when she ought to be home in bed? Oh, I didn't know, Ruth. You should have told me. Oh, I didn't want to spoil the show. Business is bad enough as it is. Besides, I needed the job. No job's worth your help. <laughs> sure, don't worry about your job. That'll be waiting for you when you come back. Oh, thanks, Monk. There you are. Now, you see, there's nothing to worry about. Hey, Red, let's take her home to Mom. She'll know what to do. That's a good idea. Oh, that'd be swell. I'll go change my clothes. You sure you feel all right? Yeah, I feel better now. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red, I didn't know. That's all right. I suppose you got Killer Krauss all measured for a knockout, huh? Yeah, you bet we have. Tell him how we're going to do it, Red. Well, he ain't the fighter he used to be. I seen him. Throws everything he got in the first five rounds. After that, he's a cinch. We can make some easy money on round bets if we could depend on that. There'd be something in it for you. Oh, no, you don't. We fight honest, see? Skipper's right. I go in to win whenever I can. Okay, Red, no offense. I just thought it'd be some easy money. No, thanks. See you tomorrow, Red. No, you won't. We'll be busy tomorrow. There's your answer, Monk. Money can't buy that guy. Yeah? A guy will do a lot of things when he's crazy about a gal. I'll take that, Mike. Come on, Red. Why don't you work about three rounds, see? 
for good and fast, and remember that left hand like I told you, will you? Ready, Mickey? Yeah. All right, let's go, huh? Left hand, Red. All right, that's it. Work it, work it, keep that jab going. Left hand, left hand, that's it. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, that's it. Come on, hook, hook, Red, that's it. Come on, that's it. Jam, jam, all right, move right in, that's it. Move right in, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, Red, keep moving in there. Keep moving, that's it, keep moving, keep moving. That's it, left hand, left hand, left hand now. That's it, boy. That's it, right on top of that boy, Red, finish it, that boy. Oh, boy, did you see that? That's just what he's gonna do to Killer Krause. What with? A horseshoe? Oh, you guys make me sick. You don't even know a champ when you see one. Look at him, he's in a patient condition. He ain't even breathing. That's the way the killer leaves him. Not breathing. <laughs> Rogan's right. He'll slaughter Krause. Time, Red. Come on, make it snappy. Take care of him, will you? Hello, Red. You look great in there if you just keep that right working. What do you think he's going to keep it in cold storage? Who's training him anyhow? You're talking to the big shot. Lay off, will you, Skipper? I've been thinking about last night, Red. Ruth had me worried. How is she this morning? Not much better. Why don't you guys let him alone? He's got a fight to worry about. Ain't that enough? Lay off, will you? You ought to play safe, Red. Have a doc look her over. That's what I told her, but she don't think we can afford it. Ah, oh, don't let her talk you out of it. And don't worry about the money. Look, I want you to send her over to a friend of mine, Dr. E.M. Churchill. You know who he is. Never heard of him. Well, he just happens to be the top man in this town. Still never heard of him. He'll look her over and it won't cost you a cent. I did him a favor once. No kidding. Look, if I fix it with the doctor tonight, will you see that she gets there? Any time you say. Well, how about 6.30? That's a date. Come on, what do you want to catch Cole? Hurry up. That poor dumb mug. You can make him do anything, can't you? Yeah, but we have to be careful of his kid brother. That's right. Hey, look. You get a hold of old Doc Radford. Keep him sober and have him in my office this afternoon. Sounds too easy, Monk. All I hope is you get away with this. Yeah, well, I'll worry about that. This Churchill guy's nurse is an old pal of mine. Churchill's office. Hiya, baby. Oh, well... Yes? You still want that fur coat I was telling you about? You gotta make him believe she's really sick. Now don't you worry about me. I'll take care of my end of it. Where are the consultation chambers? In there. But before we go any further, uh, where's the first installment on that fur coat? Oh, no, baby. When did I ever forget your payoff? Whenever you thought I didn't remember. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Right this way, Doc. And make it snappy. They're liable to be here any minute. There it is. <coughs> oh, Red, I'm scared. What are you scared of? He's only going to examine you. Sure, there's nothing to it. All you have to do is say, ah, come on. Hmm, right on the dot, 6.30. I came up to make sure the doc could wait for you. Is he here? Yeah, he's inside getting his x-ray stuff organized. Oh, this is Miss Lane, Miss Banks. Doctor's ready for you now, Miss Lane. Will you come in, please? Good luck, honey. This is pretty swell of you, Monk. Ah, uh, forget it, fellow. Anytime I can do anything for a couple of square shooting kids like you two, just try me, that's all. Will it take very long? You can't tell. It all depends on how much he finds wrong with it. Come on, Red, sit down. That's not going to help any.
seems to me they've been in there an awful long time. Well, these great specialists are very thorough, especially Doc Churchill. Look, maybe you don't know it, Red, but people send from all over the world for his opinions. He's the last word. If anything ever happened to Ruth, I don't know what I'd do. Wait a minute, Red. Wearing your shop to a frazzle ain't gonna help. I know it, Skipper. But when you're as crazy about anyone as I am about Ruth, the thought of maybe losing them drives you nuts. Supposing was Mama there. You'd do anything to save her, wouldn't you? Sure I would, Red, but... No matter what it was. Well, that's the way I feel about Ruth. And all I can do is sit here helpless. Oh, Red, come on. Take it easy, will you? Mr. Murphy? All right, let's have it. I don't wish to alarm you unnecessarily. Is it very bad? How are you, uh, fix for money? I'll get you the money. How about Ruth? Well, with prompt energetic treatment, the young lady will unquestionably recover. That's all I wanted to know. But she must have rest and quiet and no excitement. She must go to a drier climate immediately. I'll make arrangements to send her to a rest home near Tucson for observation. I, uh, hope that an operation won't be necessary, but I'm afraid her condition has been neglected too long. Well, how much is this going to cost, Doc? Well, uh, 500 to start with and another 1,000 in case she doesn't respond to treatment. Gee, $1,500? Where am I going to get money like that? You mean to say you're worried about money when you're just the same as standing knee-deep in cash? Maybe Grogan would give me an advance. Sure. And don't you worry. I'll loan you 500 until you straighten it out. Oh, thanks, Monk. That's swell of you. Okay, Doc. Go ahead and make all the arrangements. Thank you. I am very glad for the sake of the young lady. Good night. Good night. Here she comes. What did he say? Everything's all right, honey. Only you gotta go away for a while. Oh, Red, I'm scared. Now, don't be scared, honey. No, Ruth, you'll be back in a couple months sound as a dollar. You'll look after Red while I'm gone, won't you, Skip? Him? Sure. I'll look after him just like, well, if I was his old man. Thanks, Monk. Thanks for everything. No, don't mention it. How come I ain't had a line from Ruth since she left? She's a sick girl, Red. They don't want her writing letters. Yeah? Well, what about all this stuff Blackie's been telling me she's took worse? I telephone that doc's office every day and the nurse keeps telling me she's okay. Well, that's why I sent for you, Red. The doc's been trying to reach you all day. He just called me and said they'd have to operate at once or it'd be too late. He sort of figured you wanted him to do it. Well, sure I do. Tell him to go ahead. Oh, wait a minute, Red. There's a little matter of money to be considered. How much? Well, the ordinary charge for such a job is $5,000. But the doc will do it for you for 1000 In advance. In advance? Now, look, fella, here's probably the greatest lung specialist in the country, willing and anxious to do you a favor. Look, this doc's a friend of yours. Can't you get him to trust me? Well, there are limits. Why should he be money out of the pocket to fly down there? Lay out his money for surgery, nurses, medicines, and whatnot? After all, you've got to be reasonable. What's the matter? Can't you raise a grand? Sure. I'll get it somehow. Well, if you have any trouble, come back. Maybe I can still make a deal for you on those round bets. No, thanks, Monk. I'll see Grogan again. He can't let me down this time. Red. That's it, right up top. That's it. That's it. Working it. Working it. 
Left hand, left hand, left hand. That's a boy. Shoot that right once in a while, too. Come on, Red Hand Red, work in there. Hey, nice going, Red. Keep knocking them out of the ring every round, they'll get tired of coming back. How's the wind? Did you hurt your hand? Nope. Let's get a look at it. Scram! What do you mean, scram? Who do you think you're talking to? I said scram. Go ahead, Skipper. Beat it. Okay, Red, if you say so. It's the idea of knocking these guys around like that. How do you expect me to get in the odds? Forget that. All I want out of you is the dough I told you about. And the answer is still no. Well, you can advance me that amount out of my share of the profits. What profits? The gate, the concessions, everything. I had to give that away 100% to Krause to get the match. You didn't expect Krauss to fight for nothing, did you? Use your head. Fights are not arranged, they're bought and sold. Oh, then I stand to get nothing, win, lose, or draw. Play ball. I'll give you what money you actually need out of what I win. Look, I gotta get $1,000 now. And I tell you, I ain't got it. No? Don't get any ideas you can sell me out. I plugged every rat hole before I made the deal. You couldn't get a nickel or throw the fight of the advertising of papers. So that's the way it is, huh? What are you gonna do, Red? None of your fit. Well, listen, maybe I can help. Why don't you leave me alone? But Red, I... talk to you, Red. You're in a jam and... Ruth, you need dough, is that it? Well, look, Red, if there's anything wrong, why don't you let me in on it? Well, maybe we can figure out something together, huh? Gosh, if you'd have listened to me about Grogan in the first place... Well, I have listened to all I want from you. Oh, what's wrong, fella? We've always stuck together before. Go on and beat it, will you? Look, Red. All I want to know is where you're going. And you tell me if you weren't afraid to tell me. Now, listen, fella. You've been sticking your nose into my business too much. You're my kid brother, and that's the reason I let you get away with it. But just because you've been hanging around while I've been training don't mean I want you taking after me like a nursemaid. Now beat it, will you? you down, eh? I'll take the killer any round your name. It'll cost you a grand. That's tough, kids. You should have let me help you yesterday. I don't get it. Well, the fight's tonight, ain't it? Sure, so what? So, it's too late to be talking about round money. Look, I gotta get that dough for Ruth. Now, how do I get it? There's only one bet I can make now. Win or lose. And you gotta lose. That's out. Suit yourself, kid. I only wanted to help. I thought it was a matter of life or death. Okay, you win. I didn't think you'd let her down, Red. Come on, all I want out of you is the dough. All right, I'll phone Dr. Churchill to go ahead right away. He'll get his money from me. After the fight. Don't worry about the fight. I'll take my licking. In the fifth round and make it look good. Got it? Red, you didn't sell out. You couldn't have. Who said I did? Red, listen to me. What's the matter what with you? What are you hanging around here for? I thought I told What's you. What's the matter with you, Red? Are you crazy? 
You know Ruth wouldn't want it this way. Now, nah, leave me alone. Listen, Red. Next to the old man, I thought you were the greatest guy in the world. But now I'm wise here, Red. You're nothing but a dirty, no good guy. Shut up. If you'll just charge it to me, Katie, I'll pay you tomorrow. Oh, so that's the way it is. Now you listen to me, O'Leary. But, Katie, I bet me last dime on Red. Oh. Well, of course, if that's the way it is, I'll... Uh... Well, son. Now, what's the matter with him? Well, uh... Now, look here, O'Leary. You know second helpings don't go with no credit account. Nothing, Mom. I, I just want to go away for a little while, that's all. Oh. And, and where would you be going? Oh, Skipper, what's this all about? Have you been quarreling with your brother? Why? Don't be keeping things from me. Well, he don't want me hanging around all the time. Oh. As if one fight at a time on his hands ain't enough, you and him have to be starting a little private one in the family. I'm ashamed for you, Skipper. Well, I didn't start it, Mom. I don't care who started it. You've no right to be walking out on him now. The biggest night of his life. And right when all us Murphy should be sticking together. Well, Mom, you don't need me. I can't help him, Mammy. No, maybe not tonight. Sticking right at his elbow and telling him how to fight all the time, like you're always doing. That's what Mr. Grogan's for. Grogan. And if that's all that's riling you, there's no reason for carrying on like this. There's other ways you could be helping your brother. Yes. By going to him and telling him that you want him to fight. You want him to win the fight. And that you're sorry for quarreling with him. And that you're pulling for him. With Ruth and all on his mind. Hasn't he enough to worry him without... without worrying about quarreling with his brother? You should know he didn't mean it that way. You're right, Mom. Just like you always are. I'm sticking. I knew you would. I knew you would, darling. Us mercies never were quitters. Sure, Mom. We're not quitters. Dr. Churchill right away. I'm sorry. Doctor's busy all afternoon. Perhaps you could come back tomorrow. Well, no, this is about Miss Lane's operation. Oh, he'll get his money if he'll just give us a little time. These people are waiting and doctor's due at the hospital at three. I'm sorry. Well, then I'll have to wait because I've got to see him. Cinch. Plenty of money once, Murphy, when I kept them off confidential. Grogan spent in that way. Yeah, this is Monk. Ah, oh, how are you, baby? Well, keep him there as long as you can. I'll send a couple of the boys up. Murphy's kid brother's over in Churchill's office. Get him! Right. Who is next, Miss Banks? I believe I am, Dr. Churchill. Just step this way, please. Hey, wait a minute. You're not Dr. Churchill. I believe so. Is there something I can do for you? Well, uh, isn't there another Dr. Churchill? No. Well, Ruth Lane, you know, isn't she a patient of yours? Why, no. <laughs> I'm afraid you have the wrong doctor, my boy. 
Yeah. Wait. Hey, where are you going, kid? Uh, no place. Uh, Red just sent me up to find out about Ruth, but uh, the doctor was busy. I got to come back tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but the nurse said Ruth's going to be all right after the operation. Uh-huh. So long. But you hurry. No hurry, only, uh, well, Red's waiting for me. I got to tell him. Uh, See, I know you don't. You're going with us. And don't start nothing. Come on. And it says here the fight ain't expected to go the distance. Hmm. Hello, Red. We got ringside seats here. And we didn't waste no dough on tickets. We'll be cheering you, but don't forget, we bet our last dime on you to win. And if you don't, your old lady will be feeding us for the next six weeks for nothing. And no fooling. Will I know? <laughs> I'll go along with you, boys. Go on. I want to talk to my lad. I'm going to be so proud of you. Just like your father's did. Where's Grogan? He said he'd be here. That's just what I'm wondering about, Skipper. Skipper? Yes, haven't you seen him? Yeah, sure. I saw him. What's troubling you, lad? You don't seem like yourself. Now, you know Ruth wouldn't want you to be worrying. I guess not. Maybe you're counting on me too much, Mom. You and the boys. Well, all you can do is your best, and that's what counts. Come on, champ. This is the night you fight, remember? All right, Grogan. I'm ready. Good night. And the luck of the Irish go with you. Thanks, Mom. Good luck, Red. 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 Sam scare you, he's a pushover. Now look, when you get in the ring, follow the plan of battle we have. Don't deviate us. Hey, Britt, turn on the radio so we can hear the fight. Hey, where are we going now? Oh, just driving around, keeping you company, kid. <laughs> Don't you like the fresh air? Is that what I smell? Wise cracker, huh? Now the fighters are coming into the ring. Seconds are putting on their gloves. In a moment, we'll hear the voice of the announcer in the ring. The trainers are talking earnestly to their men. like a comer, the kind of a boy this fight game needs. Keep your hands high, Red. You hear me? Keep your hands high. What's the matter, Red? Anything wrong? No, I'm all right. Murphy's backing away. The killer comes after him. Murphy ducks it. Murphy shoots a hard right to the jaw. Counters. There's another right to Murphy's head. A left to the body. They clinch. Hey, 
Clayton. shook him up. Murphy lets loose a right to the jaw and misses. And now they're in close quarters. Cross throws a terrific hard right to the midsection. The two boys come into a clinch in the center of the ring. The referee separates them. And Killer Cross lets loose a left jab to the base. Now they're in close quarters again. Murphy throwing a left to the face. He's short with it. Cross shoots a wild right, and then another right, as they go into the center of the ring once more. A right cross to the bad eye. Cross is giving Murphy a beating. Murphy is taking a pounding in the midsection. Murphy shoots a short right. Murphy's backing away from the center of the ring. Pull over. There he goes. Ah, oh, let him go. The fight's almost over anyways. Okay. There's the bell going into the third round. They come off with their corners to the center of the ring in a hurry. Going into the third, they're exchanging left to the head. They're backing away. The killer is backing away. Murphy's come after him. He goes in there. There goes a right to the jaw. Killer almost went down that time. A beautiful right cross to the jaw. What's that guy trying to do? Give me the double cross? after that last round. There goes a stinging right to Murphy's head. Come on, step on it, will you? Step on it! Murphy comes out of it. Killer forces Murphy to the rope. And wow! A hard left to Murphy's jaw. What's the matter with you? You had him, Cohen. What'd you lay off for? Why don't you go in and finish him? Sucker, he's just 
just as tired as you are. The handlers are working on Red Murphy. The boy's in bad shape. Go out there and use your right. That'll stop him. You know how to do it. and he's backing up. Miller's crowding him now, boring him with solid jabs to the body. Now a straight left jab to the chin and a right cross to the jaw. Miller crowds throws a jab to the top of the head. Use that left hand. Come on, will you hurry up, please? The killer shoots the left jab. Murphy blocks it. Goes undercover. Kraus holds his fire for a moment. Then shoots uh, the right to the head. More and like. they go into a momentary clinch. <laughs> Can't win them all. was phony. That wasn't Churchill at all. They just wanted to get Ruth out of the way so they could play you for a sap. Monk, they sold out to Monk. Where is Ruth? I don't know, Red. I tried to get to you in time, but Monk had a couple of guys grab me. We've got to find Ruth, Red. Hurry up. Hasn't that gal caused you enough trouble? Shut up, you big hunk of cheese. If you'd have played ball with Red in the first place, they wouldn't have had a chance to pull anything like this. Well, they're not pulling it on me. Neither are you, Murphy. If I find out this is an act, I'll run you out of the fight game. <laughs> Look who's talking. I don't blame you for being sore, Grogan. I crossed you up all right, but I had to. It was the only way I could get the dough. I'll pay you back every dime you lost. But right now, I got a little business with Monk. So have I. Wait a minute, Red. You can't go up there. Why not? Well, there's too many of them. They're too tough for you. We'll need help. Come on, Grogan. Don't take it too hard, Katie. You just had an off night. It was a tough fight. He'll get another crack at him. Oh, yes, I know, I know. Has anybody here seen Regan? Wait, Skipper, what's the matter? It's nothing, Mom. I haven't got time to explain now. Tell me what's the matter. Uh, it's nothing, but I gotta find Regan. Well, he just went down the street. Oh, thanks, Jim. Oh. I wonder what's the matter now. I don't know. Hey, Regan! Red's in trouble. You gotta come with me. What's wrong? Well, Monk got ready to throw that fight. So Monk got him to take a dive, huh? And now he can't collect. Sorry, son, we can't help him. But Regan, you, you gotta help me. Monk double cross Red. And they kidnapped me because they found out about it. And they got Ruth, too. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Come on, son. All right, Jack. Get out of here. They're probably in the office. There's a terrific squawk. The whole town's wise if Murphy took a dive. Yeah, well, we just sit tight, see? They ain't got a comeback. Oh, hello, Red. So you two got together. I didn't figure on that. What have you done with Ruth? There's nothing for you to worry about, Red. She's being taken care of. 
Quit your stall, or what are you done with it? Why, right, you... The place is clear now. All right, let's get these two out of here. kidnapping rap. Skipper told me all about it in the car. Get him out of here. Come on, along with you. Oh, what a fine outfit. Come on. How are you, Grogan? How do you feel? Nothing to worry about. They just wing me. I'm sorry I got you into this jam. If there's anything I can do to straighten Forget it. Up. You and I are going places. You mean you still want to manage me? You said it. I guess I had you pegged all wrong from the start, Grogan. I'm awful sorry. Come on, we better get you boys patched up. You've got a little patchwork to do, too. Now, peace out, and if you don't find that the best chowder you ever tasted, I'll know nothing. Hey, Red! Guess what? We can just saw the fight, Commissioner, and they call it no contest. You can have a return match whenever you're ready. Oh, ain't that grand? Boy, will we clean up on crowds this time. Listen, when Grogan and I get through getting you in shape, like, you'll be better than ever. I signed up a new manager, Skip. Huh? For life. From now on, I'm going to do my fighting in the family. Oh. Oh, well, all right. I'm in your corner, Ruth. I think he's a cinch for a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> 